Hello and welcome to Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. This is the tag team playthrough. You might be wondering, is it Tedic? Did you already complete the chapter? No, I did not. Buzz Buzz completed this chapter. And then she passed me a save state because we're going to go right into the next chapter after this because this is one of those things where you don't get to go to the castle. It's over. We won, the battle's over. Huh? It's not How quite done yet because things are happening. Near the bottomless canyon. What could it be? Oh no. Nor's army is here. What a surprise. Now we go into Black Flames, chapter 17. Um, I think this just involves seizing I Iago's Iago. Whatever. You know the guy. Ugly guy. His fort. Jeez. Listen. A bunch of stuff is happening. Yeah. Um, we got a bunch of new characters in this map, mostly like... I don't know if we get to deploy them or if they show up. I think they show up in like turn two or three. Oh, holy moly, holy moly, we have a lot of characters. See, three of the duos are here, which means one of them is... dead? No, never mind. No, wait. These are three. Yeah, okay. Never mind. I can count. Okay. No, here's the fourth one. Damn, he's a dread fighter. <laughs> okay. Well, that's interesting. I guess we'll use him then. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, five plus six is an adventurer. Okay, that's good. Uh, everyone looks pretty solid. Charlotte's a Berserker, that's pretty neat. Takumi's still an Archer. Um... I don't know what I'm gonna need for this map, to be frank with you. I would like to complete it as quickly as possible, just because... I've been handed a lot of, uh, route maps so far, and it'd be nice to just get a map where I can just complete quickly, you know? This looks like it could be one. I like how when you optimize, uh, Corn and Fates, even if she can't use swords, they just give her the Alvayato because that makes total sense. <laughs> good game. It's, it's good to see that that happens. Also, our Master Seal seems to be missing. I think they were used to a duo, probably. Oh, five points. I, I bet five points did that. Well, he's got the duo equipped, so hopefully it'll be useful. Anyway, I'm bringing Orochi for capturing purposes, and Tsubaki, because Su everyone seems to like him. And uh, Hinoka, Elise, Charlotte, Ryoma, Hayato, of course, Azura, and uh, Five Fuzztick. So, yeah, I uh, can't save normally, but I'm going to just do a funny save. So that I don't have to do my preps again if I die. And uh, let's get started. One hour later. Hi. I am starting this chapter from a bookmark. I'll explain why later. Ryoma and Hayato are going to pair up. And I'm basically just going to put them here. In the woods. And Tsubaki and Hinoka are going to hang out together over here. Uh, Dua and Charlotte. That was Orochi. Okay, that's fine. We'll just put the corn and Charlotte together. Go over here. Move you two there and switch. Or transfer, rather. Like, no, this is wrong. Uh, switch and then transfer. Yeah, I want Dua to be with Five Fuzz. Dua to be with Charlotte. And Five Fuzz and Orochi to be together. We're gonna keep Azura. Uh, around here, and move at least this way. The reason why I'm starting from a bookmark is because I actually beat this chapter once, and when I did, the uh, save menu came up and it said, cannot find the SD card or something to that effect. Um, you need to restart the game and try again. 
And obviously, you can't restart the game and save again. It's not like you get a second chance at saving. You have to beat the chapter over again. And that happened probably because the last chapter, as you probably know, does not let you save. So what, Fu what Fuzzwuzz did is sent me a save state of when she finished the chapter. I tried loading from it and playing the chapter, and that led to that disaster happening. Because, man, that was just an hour down the drain, pretty much. It always sucks to lose stuff that you recorded, but there we are. Anyway, Leo and Xander are here. And they're going to be useful for killing enemies. Well, allegedly. We're going to just stick you in some woods and attack. And my goal is to just clear the right side of the map because cavaliers and paladins move more quickly than knights and generals and they're both heading my way anyway, so may as well deal with the faster group first. I don't want to bother capturing unpromoted units, we're just going to kill with Orochi here. She gets a level out of it. It's pretty neat. Potentially useful for later. Probably not. Because it can res. And then we just block her from getting attacked. Have Yoma start moving this way. Same time. Move him some more. Mend him up so that he can be at full HP. Hey. All right, and uh, I'm gonna stick Charlotte in the woods here with an iron axe equipped. And that should be fine for now. Probably. Uh, mostly the thing I don't like about this chapter is just that it's technically a siege map, but you basically have to kill everybody to get to Iago anyway, or Iago, whatever his name is, and then seize the fort that he's on. So there's really no point in making this map a siege map, except for the fact that you have to, you know, protect Corrin on the way there, which is something, I guess, but... Doesn't really add anything to the design of the chapter, in my opinion. And, um, notably, this is the last chapter in uh, Fate's Landia, so it goes somewhere else after this, which I can't talk about because of reasons. So we're going to actually have Ryoma hang out here and just hold these Dark Knights off for a bit, because Dark Knight uh, breaks the rule of the uh, left side, doesn't move fast, I will not lose. that I was talking about earlier. They, they're on a horse, so I'd rather just have Knights in general stuck on the side, basically. And then we can move Ryoma to the right and deal with another... Actually, we can't, because this is a peak, not planes. All right, well, we'll get him prepared for next chapter, then, or next turn, rather. Anyway, we got four murderers here. Some of them are more murdery than others, I guess. And none of them are particularly good on enemy phase, on player phase, in my opinion. But on enemy phase, I can handle an enemy or two, which is pretty much all I can ask for. So I guess that's something. I think we're gonna have Odin Dark. Kill there. Yep, this works. My darkness was darker than yours. All right. We have a paladin over here, which is going to be kind of obnoxious. It takes you down to thirty-eight. Well, to one, it does 38 damage. 
Um, we have Elise heal Hinoka up. Yeah, Blue Pestle's E rank if he's not up first. to not stay paired up in this map because of how many enemies are close together and they end up doing tax dance stuff on you a lot. So, easier just to stay paired up and not, not worry about enemy placement too much since they cluster up so easily. I don't want to heal Charlotte, which is wonderful. We put Perry in this corner map. Corner tile, she can only get attacked once, so let's do that. And then we'll keep Orochi on standby here. And Ryoma here to join the rest of the group here soon. And watch these guys just clash with paladins a bit. Hopefully not for too long. This is okay. It's basically the most we can expect to parry is to take one hit and not die. This is pretty good. And just dodge this and we'll be fine. So yeah, that's how you play the map. As, as far as I can tell, at least. And um, now I just have to kill the Cavaliers and Paladins that are clumped up there. That's fun. Uh, there's no way we can sing for Ryoma. So what I'm going to do is put Hayat to go here and get real cannon. Uh, don't want to hit allies, although it's tempting right now. I'm going to do this. A little bit of damage. I have Azura sing for Hayato. And then move him. Well, lots of Cavaliers do want to kill a Paladin, though, so let's have the weaker units do some stuff. Um, uh, okay, we're going to just capture the Great Knight with Orochi. I guess it's a great knight, which, I don't know, um, could be used as a tank, could just be disposed of, like, in battle, I mean, not just, like, released or executed in the prison. Uh, we're gonna have... So we're gonna find some way to make you useful, Odin, but I don't know how yet, though. I don't know how. I guess we can go after this Cavalier, but or that's a great knight, actually. And then these Cavaliers will just beat you to death, because that's you. That's you, Odin Dark. That's what you do. 
unless we uh, heal Charlotte, put two or three tanky units around you. Let's try this. I'm not expecting that Odin Dark will be trained up at all. I'm just like, want him to be useful for this one chapter because that's probably the last time he'll be deployed ever. Now. Can Xander kill anybody? No. Can Leo kill anybody? Yes. This one, this one. Let's get rid of you first, since you give... Yeah, let's just get rid of you. What we're going to do is send Hayato here, switch attack his paladin to death. Okay, units are almost safe, just need to kill this cavalier. Um, don't really know how, but we will. If we just kill this guy, Odin should be safe, so that kind of works. Emphasis on kind of, because it doesn't really. That also kind of works. But then it opens up this area. Okay, what if we attack from here instead? Let me use the Steel Ants, because it actually has a chance of killing. Not strong enough. Fucking defense, okay, well, I will have to do, now that we have a choice or anything. So many people can get attacked this turn and just die, so that's fun. Really, we gotta plug this hole, so let's use Charlotte to do that. Could attack with the steel axe, but okay, here we are. Who's next? Now, you don't die to this cavalier. 30 minus 17 is 13, minus 12 is 18, minus 18 is 12, minus. 7 is 23, minus 13 is, 20, is uh, 17, minus 16 is 14, but you're not in range, you're not in range. So all we have to do right now is just heal Charlotte up, really. Get you ready for future turns. Not using carry right now. Okay, this is a pretty good outcome, actually. Of course, we have the knights chasing us still, but we can handle those pretty much at our leisure. As we're moving faster than them. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I could have given that kill to anybody, but he gave it to Ryoma because he deserves it. Now, we have this faceless person, or thing, I suppose is more accurate. Stick you there, Leo, and switch to Xander, and wait there. 
And then, um... I think you can just... I mean, you have to mend Odin to heal him up fully, so let's do that. Zora sings up to here. Okay. So, if we put Perry down here. Move Charlotte out of the way. Have Hinoka. Put Hinoka here. Use her to heal Perry a little bit. Uh, use have a regular heal staff, so let's just use that to heal Hinoka up. And have her get a little song together moving forward. Around here is okay. Actually, I'll just put you max distance. And that should do for this turn. You can probably set up a kill here for somebody. I don't know who, but somebody. Um, you can set him up for a Rochi, I guess. Eat. Well, that's actually pretty good. Need to do it from here, though. And then... You get debuffed. I forgot about that. Oh well. The information was there, I just didn't check it. It's okay, I'll live. Cool. Lots of experience points, and we get to move forward. As to how far forward... Uh, well, definitely want Ryoma there. Yeah. Put you right there, buddy. And then... Six Charlotte here pretty safely. Have Perry move up. Have Odin be on standby for doing damage from a distance later. This person can attack quite a lot of stuff with a fire orb, so um, there's that. I definitely want to kill you at some point because you're annoying. Actually, we can do it quite easily with these steel ants, so that's nice to know. I do that now. No. Yeah, I think we can get away with it. Now. Sorry, buddy. Get all block, and there we go. No more fire orb. Bloomfestal. Yeah, let's just Bloomfestal parry. Get her tapped off and then sing for her. Sing for Elise, rather. Oh, C rank stays. That's useful for something, I'm sure. Um, keep spamming heal, I guess. Just right, regular heal. So this is a kill of a great knight. This is good. And then after that is done, the other unit should attack Charlotte. Okay, probably could use the hand axe here, but this is fine. All right, now we kind of have to deal with those knights behind us pretty soon. So, let's, uh, let's 
do that at some point. When does this debuff end? It lasts for one turn, but it's already been one turn. One full turn, I guess. We can just kill you like so. Assuming we hit, of course. I'm gonna tear you in half. We do definitely hit. Sorry about this. I can get you a level up. Which is good. I don't know what I want to do now. I guess I could do is Bloomfest Charlotte or Sunfestler just for max HP. Magic and Muck, okay. Now, um. You are a general, that's why you're so far ahead. Let's... Okay, we can put Ryoma in range normally, so let's just sing for Elise. Get you a level up. Strength, skill, speed, luck. That's useful, I guess. We're gonna put Ryoma there. And keep... Uh, Orochi in standby. Do these ever run out? I don't think they do. But we need to pull this Cavalier first anyway. With, uh, I guess we'll use Parry for that. What do you have there, buddy? Steel Sword and a Steel Lance. In fact, we'll just use Hinoka. Actually. Yeah, we're safe there. I ignore the Troubadour in the middle of the map because it's just, just totally useless. If you don't fit, we can actually set up a capture. Capturing a general could be handy. This cavalier should be pretty easy to kill on um, player phase next turn. Alright. Alright, so. Yeah, this is pretty good. Let's go for it. This is a normal capture, right? Yes, it is. One hit, and another. Fortune favors me. Great. Just skill, though. Okie dokie. That's a knight. We don't really care about that guy right now. Let's just, uh... Let's see, if we can get you over here, then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't... I think forts, are, forts cost two movement points to move over, so... I would love to send Hinoka down here, but of course she will get killed, so... There's that. Um... All right, we have some wiggle room here. Here I can do some something, I suppose. We chip with Odin first. And then send Murderer down here to murder somebody again, as usual. Uh, you know, I think what we'll do is probably just send Leo and Xander down here, because they can go one, two, three, four, five, I think, six, seven, eight, nine, ugh. Maybe with Azura's help as we go a little bit faster. Um, they can move to where Hinoka is right now, so 
Let me just murder you. Well, I said I wouldn't. It's bother, but we have nothing else to do, so die. I win this one. Getting some experience points for Subaki. It's been a while. Now. Put you here. Doesn't matter if it's Leo or Xander. At least for now. I'll get you very, very close, but not quite there. Let's put you in the fort for now and switch to Xander and wait. And move everybody else up, like so. And like so. Get you some healing. Much needed healing. Okay, great. Good dodge, and uh, of course, reinforcements up here. Like, right on our ass. In any case, we're going to kill this person with Xander from here. I, I, actually, we won't, because we can't. So, we're just going to attack on And the reason why we're putting him there and not on the left side is to not pull a bunch of generals towards him. So, yeah. We're going to put Charlotte on the fort now. And I guess we could have used Charlotte to deal with this cavalier, but we don't actually need her for that. We can just use uh, some Orochi. Some Tsubaki, I guess. I would rather use Hinoka though, because she actually can do damage. Try again. Okay. Right. Alright, now we have um Basically just the knight that's behind us, and these enemies. Fun stuff. Ryoma. I'm gonna start moving Ryoma ahead with, under the assumption that he'll probably dodge a ballista shot if it's shot at him. If he doesn't, well, he doesn't, I guess. I was wrong. And... We'll position our units like so. Um, I'm kind of tempted to move Odin to the fire ore, but I suspect that will just pull these guys. So I'm going to avoid doing that. Just sing for him and not do anything with him. And he goes for Charlotte, it's fair. Okay, well... You're getting a little bit close for me, so I'm going to, uh... Pull Charlotte back. Well, I think Hanoka's probably... economically more useful in terms of time and turns and stuff. Let's keep her there. Put me over here. Uh, Charlotte could theoretically kill, but I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to put Xander. I'm just going to have Xander do it, or Leo even. No yeah. Right. <laughs> that was nothing. 62 experience. Charlotte's going to move up now. The pair. I move pretty much everybody down now. Um, keep Odin nearby just in case. Harry, I don't think they're gonna be helpful actually, because it's a. That's actually just a knight, okay. I can handle that. Let's just move Elise down so that she can start healing the group. It's actually going to kill the boss. And since Corrin is with Orochi, it's important to move her down too. Okay. 
Okay. Um, a dodge. An enemy that Ryoma cannot one round. Unless he crits. And then, uh... Alright, great. Now what? I guess we should probably kill this guy. Can't quite reach with you, but what we can do... Get you there, Leo. Sing. Move you down to, like, here. You're almost dead. These guys don't go far. This ballista doesn't shoot to the on the right side very far. Alright, well, I think I know what to do. I'm gonna put Ryoma here. Switch over to Hayato. And do no damage. Alright, I'm gonna have Charlotte go here. Throw a hand axe. Sticks out her stupid tongue. Throws a hand axe at this guy, kills him. Laughs. And gets a level up. Okay. I think it's probably good to start pulling these um, enemies on the left side. So let's stick Ryoma there. And let's deal with this knight that's coming up from behind us. Oh, that's not too shabby. It's down to one. That's up. Kill for literally anyone that can do damage. Harry, you're up. Hey, okay. she's almost gained a level, so that's that's neat, I guess. If I points or fuzzballs want to use her, I'll have an easier time doing it now. Get corn a little bit closer for the purposes of seizing soon. I say soon, but in reality, it's going to be a while. Because there's all the enemies on the left that are going to start moving towards us, probably. And there's. I don't think there's more reinforcements. I could be wrong. I guess there's reinforcements on the left side if you move to the bottom left of the map too far. So hopefully they don't trigger those, but I triggered them. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. Now. You have a weapon? No, you just have a heal staff. Alright, well, I'm gonna find a relatively easy way to kill that general over here. I can kill with Orochi. For capture, that'd be cool. Uh, problem is, I would have to find a tricky way to attack this person without getting to range of you and the ballista at the same time. Okay, well, I could just kill you, I suppose. That is 22. Um, you do no damage. You take 21 from him and probably barely anything from the Ballista. So let's see how we can set up. Let's do this. Follow up with Rochi capturing this enemy. It's collecting enemies. Great. 
right, so another one down. And a level up for her. Makes capturing easier later. Oh yeah, a lot easier. And... Uh, we can start working on you. We can even kill you this turn if we uh, are lucky enough. Your time to die? I don't think so, buddy. It's your time to die. What a great comeback, Ryoma. Thanks, Hayato. Can Garen help me? I don't think he's in the business of helping people, I'm afraid. Alright. Ah, Fimblevator. Very cool. And next turn I'll be able to seize, so those reinforcements are not even a problem. There's no enemies here. There's barely anything to do on this turn, so let's end it. Watch Ryoma get shot at, but dodge. Everyone starts rushing towards us because their boss is dead and they want to thank us. And before I seize, I'm going to make a save state so that if the game eats my save again, I won't have to suffer recording again because repeating a chapter two times in a row is kind of bad. But seems like we don't have to worry about it. Oh, you can seize with the switched unit. That's cool. I didn't know that. Well, today I learned. Let's seize with Orochi. And now there's a cutscene with these uh, 3D models talking to each other about making an alliance, probably, since this is kind of like the point where all the royals are together. No. Hey. Uh, yeah, so they all talk to each other. They're all friends. Uh, someone changed Korn's hair. And... Listen. We move on with this handshake that signifies a peace treaty, because these nations that have been constantly at war just handle it with a handshake. Sorry, Dor. It's all good. Thank goodness. Yes. It's a good thing that Five Fustick is such a friendly person, otherwise this wouldn't be possible. Alright, and we can actually save the game. So that is the last chapter in the land of Hoshido and Noir. And in the next chapter, we will go to a place called Vala.